Hello guys, I am back with another video on SMG question and today I am going to criticize the arthritis. My name is Abar Patan and let us begin. So guys, uh, what what is the arthritis? First of all, we should know what is arthritis. So, arthritis uh, as the name tells us that artery. Artery means a blood vessel which carries blood from the heart to, to, to the different parts of the body. Okay, so that is artery. Artery is the blood vessel. Okay. And arthritis means inflammation. So, arthritis means inflammation of the blood vessel. Okay. So, which is also called as the vasculitis. Okay. So, we have got three types of vasculitis. First is the large vessel vasculitis. Second is the medium vessel vasculitis. And third is the small vessel vasculitis. Okay. So, so in, in today's video, we, we are going to talk about the Takaiso arthritis, which is also called as the pulseless, pulseless disease. Okay, and in the medium vessel vasculitis, we have the polyarthritis nodosa, Kawasaki disease, and the Bugus disease. In the small vessel vasculitis, we have the Begne granulomatosis, micro and micro polyangitis, Krug Strauss disease, and Hanok Schnellen disease. Okay. Now, uh, what is Takaiso arthritis? So, Takaiso arthritis is, or pulseless disease is a rare autoimmune disease. Now, what do I mean autoimmune? It is, it is a disease in which our immune system attacks our own cells, and and in this case, it it it, it attacks the endothelium cells of the aortic arch and the branches of the aortic arch. Okay. So, um, affects the blood, large, la, large blood vessels, especially the aorta and its main branches. Okay, and it is, it is, it is classified as a large, large type of vasculitis, which refers to inflammation of blood vessels. Okay, and this condition tends to occur more commonly in young women, typically over under age, under the age of forty. Okay, so the symptoms of this disease are shortness of breath, visual problems. High BB, difference in blood pressure between two arms, a difficult to find or absent pulse in the wrist. Takaiso arthritis is sometimes called as a pulseless disease because narrowed arteries can make normal pulses difficult or impossible, impossible to detect. Anemia, chest pain, and abdominal pain. Okay, so these so these are all are the symptoms of the Takaiso arthritis. So so guys, please remember them. So this figure is very important for us because this figure demonstrates the types of uh, types of the arthritis. arthritis. So we have got in total six types of arthritis. Takaiso so arthritis. Type one, type two A, type two B, type three, type four, and type five. Okay. So let us discuss what happens in the type one. So type one affects the branches branches from the aortic arch. Okay. So these are the uh, uh brachial trunk this is the brachial trunk this is the left uh, left ca co common carrier and this is the left subclavian so so here is the inflammation so we will get a uh, pulse less pul no pulse or less pulse in the wrist okay now talk, coming to the type 2 arthritis type 2a arthritis so it affects the ascending ascending aorta aortic arch and, and, and its branches okay so uh, ascending aorta like the thoracic uh, like the arteries which supply the thorax they are also affected now coming coming to the type 2b arthritis so ascending aorta aortic arch and its branches thoracic thoracic it also affects the thoracic descending aorta okay this also this portion also it affects okay now coming to the type type three uh, Takaiso arthritis. So in this case, what happened that there is inflammation in the thoracic descending aorta, abdominal aorta, and the and the renal arteries. Okay. So so you may have high high blood pressure in the in the in the lower limb. Okay. Now coming to the type four Takaiso arthritis. Um, th this is caused uh, in the abdominal aorta and 
or renal arteries okay and type 5 type 5 means whole okay combined features of type type 2b and 4 okay so this whole full full aorta and all its branches and all this stuff okay here is a quick is a quick summary of all the points that i have discussed in the, in, in my previous slide so pause and try to uh, try to read and try to understand what whatever is is written in this text so guys finally a question which blood vessel is, is involved in the type 2 takaso arteries type 2 mind it what is it type 2 so what is the answer guys tell me tell me please 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 so it is a arch of aorta and the descending and the ascending aorta okay b option option b is right okay guys b and what happens in the type 3 type 3 has arch of aorta and the descending aorta okay so guys that's it for today guys and thank you for watching and bye and subscribe kar jaldi subscribe kar theek hai na